So this is what happens. You enter into this, this relationship. Now, and let's be clear. You can have a relationship with a person, a place, a thing, an organization, anything that's happening. You can engage into it to where you have a relationship with it. You can have a relationship with a city. Some people move somewhere and fall in love with the place someone they don't ever want to leave. So you can have a relationship with just about anything or anyone. But this is how it happens. You enter into this relationship. And while you're in that relationship, something negative, something bad happens and it causes you a trauma. It messes you up mentally, emotionally, even physically sometimes. Now, once that relationship is over, once you're done with it, once you're out of it, things trigger you. Things remind you of that traumatic situation, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, post, after. It happened while you were there. Now, after, there are things that are bringing back that trauma. There are things that are reminding you of that thing that happened. But you got to be careful because everything that triggers, man, what? Everything that triggers what traumatized you doesn't have to be negative. Let me tell you this quick story. I remember now, I remember I had this car and at the time it was just the best that I could do. Sometimes the heat would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes the windows would roll up, sometimes they wouldn't. And one morning, I came out to my car and it had a flat and I'm like, yo, how did this even happen? Like I wasn't driving anywhere. I didn't run over nothing. Like I parked it. I, it sat there all night. I got up the next morning to go wherever I was going to go and it's a flat tire. So I get the tire fixed. Then I go and I, I continue on with my day. I continue on my week and then I come out another morning and the tire it's flat again. I'm like, I'm not even hitting. How is this happening? I'm like, there has to be a slow leak or this or that. And it just kept going to the point to where I just kept fixing this tire or that tire or that window, whatever. But that tire triggered me. Out of all the things I had to fix, that tire triggered me in a way that it, because the other things that, that were wrong with the car, I could still drive the car. But that tire hit different. I couldn't even go anywhere with the tire the way it was. So what happened was, I got a new car. I got a new car, but that tire was flat so many times, it triggered me, it messed me up, it ruined my plans, it made me late to places, to engagement. It, it, after, when I was gone out enjoying the night or the day somewhere, and I would come back and it would be, it triggered me in a way to where it stuck with me, and I didn't notice it triggered me until I got my new car. See, my new car don't got no problems. All the windows work. All the tires ain't been flat since the air, the AC, the Bluetooth, everything work in the new car. But you wanna know something with this new car? I still check all the four tires every time I go out to my car. Like now, to this day, in this video, Blessed beyond measure. Couldn't, at this point, I can't even tell you where the blessings come from. I know where they're coming from. But at this point, I can't even keep track of the blessings. And I didn't notice how traumatized I was until I got what I always prayed for. And, and it slows me down a, a second, a minute. Man, is it really not, is it really not flat? Every morning, every time, I, it, it, tri it, it, it traumatized me so much and I didn't even realize it until I got what I always prayed for. And I have to remember, we have to remember, you have to remember, you can't be traumatized or triggered once you get what you actually prayed for. Like the, now, now the blessing is here. Now, before my time was being wasted because of the level I was on, the, the, the way I was living, the unfortunate situation. But now I'm wasting time in the blessing. I've got what I prayed for. I, the car. Like, we not even going to get into that. And a lot of us are giving away so much time and joy still 
and we're not even where we used to be. But yeah, you don't know how bad this situation for me was. I, you're right. I don't know. Only you would know. But here's the thing. There has to come a time that you believe that you were blessed on purpose. There has to come a time that you don't have that fear or that anxiety or that post-traumatic stress disorder anymore. Because if that's the case, why are we in the new arena? Why, why do we have the new vehicle? Why do we have the new relationship? Why do we have the new blessing? If that is the case, we have to practice it. We can't find comfort in pain. We, we will work with those things. I know how to live paycheck to paycheck. I know how to be okay in this bad relationship. But here's the thing. There is no need for me to check the tires on the new vehicle because things are not the same and that is something that I have to believe. Even if my feelings, my mind, my heart, my body, my soul doesn't want to, I have to because it is required because I'm walking and I'm literally in a new vehicle on a new level and with new blessings. So I am now wasting time checking my blessings as if they're the thing that traumatized me and that's just not the way that things work. A lot of us are wasting, a lot of, a lot of us cannot even enjoy the new relationships that we're in because of what he or she did to us. A lot of us are making new people pay for old people's mistakes, which is not fair. Those people didn't do that to you. I know it takes time. That's why it's important to heal before you jump into a new relationship. Because that person that is at home, that person that calls you, texts you, sing you funny jokes, memes, pictures, vid all this type of stuff, they signed up to love you. They don't need any extra hurdle. A lot of us, hear me, a lot of us have been financially broke for so long, we don't even know how to enjoy our new bread. We still penny pinch like we broke. I didn't say be ignorant and just splurge, but you have the right to enjoy the fruits of your labor. I understand that that situation traumatized you, but you're actually free. Yep. You're actually blessed. You can actually relax and, 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 and not have anxiety and be calm within this new blessing. You can be calm on this next level. You do not have to check the tires of the new vehicle because this ain't the old vehicle. It ain't the same city. It ain't the same driveway. You're not even going to places you used to go in the old vehicle. These tires don't work like that. And a lot of us are checking. Hey, let me see your phone. That was for the old relationship, sweetheart. That was for the old relationship, bro. That you wasting time. You, you wasting time trying to check her phone. Are you healed? Are you whole? Ha, did you really give your heart enough time? Because what it's saying is, it's not that I don't trust. The, I'm not saying that I don't trust the blessing. I'm saying I don't trust the blessing giver. I'm saying I don't trust the giver of the blessing. God ain't out here doing stuff on mistake. Maybe he can do it. Sometimes he get it right. Sometimes, nah, he do this because that's who he is and that's what he do. I understand that situation did what it did to you, but you are actually free, for real. You can enjoy your new relationship. You can enjoy your new financial status. You can enjoy your new relationship. A lot, some people don't even travel because of what they see on the news. Well, you know that plane went down and you know, I'm just safe in my city. Some people don't even get on the freeway. So why you pray for the blessing if you're not gonna enjoy it and walk in it? You are actually free. You do not have to have, you do not have to have this post-traumatic stress disorder. You don't have to. Practice in your blessing. Like when I go out, when I'm done recording this video right here, I'm just gonna hop in my car and go. Can tires go flat even on new cars? Yeah, but I'm not checking my tires because tires can go flat. I'm checking my tires out of fear. I'm checking my tires out of that trigger. I'm, che I'm checking my tires out of the trauma. Enjoy the blessing that God is giving you because you're actually free, for real.